Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to automatically add borders to Excel. We're going to use a function called conditional formatting. You may know how to do conditional formatting, but you may not have seen or thought through how you can do it based on uh, rules or a formula in Excel. So typically when we do a table and we want to do borders, we highlight it and then we go to the at the home ribbon, we can do borders and let's do all borders and we see we have a nicely formatted table. But sometimes we edit and we have to add, you know, a fourth row and a fifth row and a sixth row. And then we'd have to go back and highlight all that. And then once again, do the, the, the highlight and the borders. So it's not dynamic. And then sometimes you, if you delete, you delete something here, then certainly you still have uh, the borders. So let me show you how this works if we do it dynamically with conditional formatting. So what I'm going to do is, let's say we might have a really big table. I'm not sure how many rows we're going to do. Now, if we only have 10 rows, we could just highlight, you know, 10 rows and we would say, okay, this is how big our table would be. But we could highlight the entire column, A, B, C, and D here in this example. And let's go to conditional formatting and we'll go new rule. Now let's go to classic and let's say we want to use a formula to determine which cells we want to format. So I'm going to point to A1. Now look what ha happens on A1. It gives it absolute dollar sign A, dollar sign one. So what I want to do is make the column A absolute. So I'm going to just hit F4 a couple of times. I want to make dollar sign A and then one because I want one, two, three, four, five to be relative, but column A to be absolute. It's going to look in column A to format this conditionally based on if there's not an empty cell, if there's something in that cell, then we'll format it with borders. So I'm going to put is not equal to, and then to use blank, I'm going to use the quotes here a couple of times. So here's what we have. We have dollar sign A1, is not equal to blank. So if it's blank, we don't format it. If it has something in there, then we'll format it. Now, if I hit OK, then it's going to format it for this red. So what I want to do is select custom format. And the custom format, we can go to numbers, we can go to font, whatever, but we can go to border. And so let's do the outline here for each cell. Each cell is going to have this outline. So we hit OK, and here's what we have. So now it's formatted, and so how is this different than what we had before? Well, we can add four, five, six, and so on. You see it builds the table dynamically with the cell borders. Now, it doesn't have to be one, two, three. It could be yes. It could be um, uh, something like true, which is a logical thing. It could be a formula. And now that is dynamic. And if we take something out, you see what happens is that table dynamically reduces the number of cells that have borders. So this is an easy way to automatically add borders to Excel using conditional formatting. You can have it where as many rows as you have, uh, you will have it formatted with borders.